Hello everyone and welcome to today's video which I'm very excited to do. I've wanted to try one of these things out for the longest time but I also didn't because I don't think oh, cat hair in my eyelash that's new. These tend to be very expensive and also I just don't feel like these can be too terribly good for your skin even though they say that they're like dermatologist recommended or not recommended but approved anyways. Either way I was at Target the other day. I was purchasing a pillow specifically to put between your legs when you sleep. I have one but it's getting kind of old so I wanted a new one and while I was there it was in the you know like kind of as seen on TV section. This was right next door. So, uh, the stars had aligned. I figured it was saying, Cassie, it's time. Just, just give it a try. This is one of those glorious pore suction devices. It's the derma suction one. I believe I have actually tested out something from this brand before, this bulbhead.com. I feel like that reusable earwax thing that did not work on me and yet apparently companies on Facebook and stuff steal the footage from my video and use it to promote their product. And I just think that's hilarious, A, because Thanks for asking. And B, <laughs> I do not promote the products, be it theirs or knockoffs or whatever. Like, I hated that. It didn't work for me. But either way, yeah, this is just, it's supposed to, did I say? It's a vacuum for your pores. With the suction technology, we're gonna get skin that looks just as photoshopped as this, ladies. Great. Cause that's natural beauty right there. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure. Beautiful, beautiful person. Uh, but that, that, I just mean. That's makeup and Photoshop. Anywho, I just think it's funny that they used a person that they definitely Photoshopped every single pore off of her face. It just, that, that's funny to me. <laughs> For a product that's supposed to clean out your pores. Why am I incapable of opening this cardboard box? There we go. It doesn't really have instructions on here, so I'm hoping it comes with a pamphlet or something in the box. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Nice little box. I'm sure my cat will lay in it or attempt to fit in it. Replacement sponge filters. Get rid of all that yuck. This is sort of an insert in these things with the advertisement for diamonds on the back. Doesn't it just remind us all of back when TV was more a thing and more importantly the commercials where you would have to call to order your product existed before ordering on the internet was really a thing. We need batteries that were not included. Thank goodness I've got some. This just feels like a gimmick. I don't know. Anyone else? You pick up a product and you're like this isn't this isn't legit, right? So it has the oval head attachment on. This is for like corners of your nose and stuff. But I want to try out the small head. It says that this is gentle suction, perfect for everyday use. Good for use on sensitive skin and nose area. I see, so can you see in there? There's like a sponge. That's what that white part is. So that's gonna collect all of the ick. Is that right? That's kind of lame that they don't just like include the freak the sponge things. How often do you need to replace it? You can wash them, air dry them, or toss them in the trash after each use. That's horrible. You can reuse them, but like you can also just throw them away and buy more because give us money. Ooh! It really does. Can you see? It sucks my finger in there. Oh, how... <laughs> okay, this actually has me excited. <laughs> oh, and there's actually two different settings. Okay, high, low, and off. So I did wash my face and it is dry. It says to make sure it's dry before the next step. This just sounds so confusing. So it says to not keep the suction in one place for more than two seconds. Focus on your problem areas, but do not move back and forth in the same direction. Leaving suction head on one spot for extended period of time may cause red marks, aka little baby hickeys. If red marks occur, discontinue use immediately until the red marks subside, mainly because that's embarrassing. So uh, here are my pores. Welcome. If you are new to my channel, I suppose you wouldn't have seen them before, but if you're a, if you're a long timer, You've, you've seen my pores, up close, personal, all of the above, many times before. 
I have definite blackheads mainly around this area and then my nose is just one of those oil producing noses where you can just squeeze it at any given time and stuff will come out of it. But like, okay, there's a pore right there. Let's see. Okay. So that did not pull it out. We did get a little mark, but okay, we'll use this on my nose. How about? So what do you, if you're not supposed to move it around? Okay, hopefully, can you guys see the blackheads? Or on this side, can you see those blackheads? That just didn't do anything. Wait. I mean, listen, it is getting some stuff. Can you see on the lip there? But like, that's just normal is it sebum. And like I said, I can get that out on my own just by going honk honk. No nails required. This is not getting out like any of the actual blackheads that I can see. Ooh. Look at that line. Yeah, so much crap that it could be getting. And it's just like, nah, I'm good. Eh. Do you see? I have plenty of crap that it could suction out. Okay, well, it does say that the large head is perfect for blackheads, so let's use the large head. This is the silicone head, not the one I was looking for. And this is the large head. Like, I don't really see what making it bigger is gonna do in terms of force. I, I guess I don't know anything about physics, so maybe that's why. But let's try. I do have this on high. Oh my god! Can you see that? Oh! Ah! It kinda hurts! <laughs> And I know you're not supposed to leave it on for a long period of time, but it's not getting it out. <laughs> it's like I can see it in there trying to get it out, but it's just not strong enough. It wants to. It wants to so badly. It really is yanking. <sighs> but it's just... Like, can you see? That is suctioned onto my nose. Ugh. But even though I have tons of things that it could be pulling out, ugh, it's just not. Let's go. Come on. There's a big boy right there. Get it. Get it. Ugh. Not getting it. Come on. Uh, okay, don't. Uh. <laughs> that was mean. I don't know, you guys. It's just not. Oh my god, did it just get one? I think I might have been dreaming. Oh, I think I thought it got that one that I had pointed out to you guys in there. Eh. I don't think it did. Are my pores just too powerful? They're too tight? Like, look at those are prime. Those are prime. Get them. Like Amazon. Get. You did not get them. I don't think you're supposed to use this on your under eye skin. That looks like it broke some capillaries. Oh boy. Like, these are not impossible to get out, I promise. I know, I know you're not supposed to use your nails, but they really do come out very easy. No, like. They do slide right out. It's not like I have super stubborn ones. Ripe for the picking. No vacuum needed. All right, well, there you go. There's all of our daily dose of failure. I'm so sorry to have been the one to provide that for you, but uh, 
that's life and that is why I exist to test out these products and waste my money so you don't have to I'm taking these batteries out so I can use them for something actually good before I forget but uh I gave it a shot I did the best I could <laughs> Please let me know if you've had any luck. Maybe this brand is just awful and other brands actually do pull them out, but I clearly did not have that experience. As I said, let me know if you have had a different experience in those comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful somehow, whatever the case may be, by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.